Captain! I did it. For the BSAA. For the future. I know. You did a real good thing. As we see at the end of Resident Evil Village, the BSAA are utilizing BOWs of their own now, and this comes as a surprise to Chris, one of the founders of the organization, so much so that he actually orders his squad to make course to the HQ in Europe so that they can investigate what it is that's going on. Who made this decision? Why are they messing with BOWs? Like Chris wants answers as to what is going on. And I've made a theory as to what could possibly be going on with the whole maybe Alex Wesker's behind it and she's the one who corrupted the BSAA. But I've actually got to thinking about something more recently and it's that the last time we saw the BSAA was in Resident Evil 6. Because in 7 it was Blue Umbrella. So in Resident Evil 6, one really major thing that happens in that game is that at the end of Chris's campaign, Pierce sacrifices himself by injecting one of the samples of the enhanced C-Virus into his body, which mutates him and thus gives him the power to kill off the B.O.W. Heos, which was the extremely powerful aquatic B.O.W. designed specifically to pollute the entire planet with the C-Virus. And the only way they could kill it was whenever Pierce injected the C-Virus into his own body. So what I'm thinking probably ended up actually happening is that once Chris escaped that situation and made it back to HQ, he filed a detailed report on everything that had happened. And in that report, he mentions how Pierce sacrificed himself by injecting a sample of the C-Virus into his body. And then from that, he was able to kill off the B.O.W. And I think what ended up happening is that from that report, higher ups at the BSAA read it and then they came to the conclusion that if Chris Redfield, literally our best guy we have, can't kill B.O.W.s with conventional weapons now, that they have to look into something else because B.O.W.s are only going to get more advanced as time goes on and so if our best guy, Chris Redfield, the same guy who killed Albert Wesker is now struggling with these things, we got to figure out something else. And so they came to the conclusion to start fighting fire with fire. And that's what basically led to the course of them developing their own BOWs. But they never ran it by Chris because they knew he would never stand for it. He'd be completely against the idea of developing their own bioweapons because if they do that, then they would be no better then the bioterrorists developing them. So they swept it under the rug, kept it away from Chris, and went to the Europe division to sort of do it secretively. And that's pretty much what ends up leading us into Village, where we see this zombie-like B.O.W. that they were using. And so I think that might be what actually happened. I think Pierce's sacrifice may have actually been what led the BSAA into this path of using bioweapons themselves because they read Chris's report maybe and from that came to the conclusion that it's not good enough to use conventional weapons anymore. We have to develop our own bioweapons and that's the only way. And I think that's a very fascinating thing to consider. And it really makes me wonder, you know, we saw the zombie-like soldier in Village, but what else could they have developed? After all, they do work with Blue Umbrella which consists of former Umbrella scientists and researchers trying to redeem themselves. So what crazy experiments could they have brought to life that are now within the facility of the Europe HQ that Chris and his team are going to run into when they get there? There's all kinds of crazy stuff that could potentially come from this, and I think it's going to be really interesting. Maybe they even went down to the underwater facility where Pierce died, and that they're able to find his body there and take it back to the HQ in Europe to do tests on it. Maybe they extract the C-Virus from his body and use that to develop their own bioweapons. I think that'd be a really interesting twist on things that that's what they ended up doing because Pierce made the sacrifice for the BSAA, for the future, but then it turns out that that future is 
a future of corruption because his decision ends up leading the BSAA in developing their own bioweapons to combat other bioweapons. And it would be something that Pierce himself would be against. It's definitely something that Chris would be against, which is why he was never aware of it. And I think it'd be a huge moment. I mean, imagine the emotion that Chris would feel if he were to go to the Europe HQ branch and see either the body of Pierce there or files and videos detailing that they found his body and extracted the C-Virus from it. And that's where they ended up creating all these bioweapons. Like, there'd be so much rage by Chris from that. And I think it'd be really cool. I mean, there's a lot of potential with that, but what are your thoughts? Do you think it's plausible that Pierce's sacrifice in Resident Evil 6 is what led the BSAA in eventually creating their own bioweapons within Resident Evil Village? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here and I will see you all on the next one. See you then.